Hello Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Welcome and welcome cross watchers. I'm going to take a look at your situation with you and your person here. Remember that this is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate for everybody. You can always take a look at your other placements because you may find some messages there for you. And if you're interested in a personal reading, much like this, I will leave all of that information in the description box below for you guys. Okay, so I see that in your past you've been speaking to someone. There's been a message that has arrived, a text call or email. Um, I see that in the past though, somebody's been waiting, waiting around for a uh, a reply for an awaited message something that somebody's been waiting for here waiting for a love offer with that knight of cups that's Pisces cancer and Scorpio energy so I'm seeing that this could also be um, an apology somebody has come in to apologize and wanting to have a reconciliation wanting to um, put back the harmony into this connection and wanting to balance things out trying to mix um mix things together in order to create balance so i see that somebody has wanted to try to make things right here and wanting to reconcile so i see that if this hasn't happened it could be happening within the next two weeks here and i do see that this is a this has been something that somebody's been waiting for with that Nine of Cups, a wish fulfillment, something that you've been wishing for, uh, something that you've been waiting for is somebody to make that love offer and to come forward. And I see that I'm seeing that there was confusion in the past that somebody wanted to clear up here um, with the moon card. I do see that there was confusion on exactly um, how somebody was feeling and um, wasn't able to see things clearly here. So I see that somebody has been kind of disillusioned in the past. So this is what is behind you or what could be passing you soon. So in your person's energy, we have the hammer, sabotage, rebuilding, interrogation, repetitive, persistent, working on it. So emperor, that's Aries energy here. I see that. I see that your person has been planning, planning how to how to come towards you, planning what to say towards you. So they've been very uh, strategic on making a decision. So I see that this person wants to, they want to come and work on things here. This person is very persistent. Um, and I see that they have their eye on you. So they have their eye on you, but I get that there's been that silence before you guys weren't really speaking. Um, your person feels a little bit like um, rejected and they feel as though you may not feel the same way as them here, but they are really, they are serious about you. They are coming towards you with emperor energy and I see that they have been looking for answers looking for a sign before making a final decision here about wanting to move things forward but i see that this person is very persistent on trying to rebuild things with this hammer trying to work on this and making that final choice because i see that they're receiving clarity now They've been looking for clarity because there's been some stagnation here. Um, 
they felt unloved or they felt as though you didn't want anything to do to do with them but they're very persistent they they they're very persistent in coming towards you and trying to um, have a conversation a real and raw very blunt conversation here so um i see that in your energy we have the palm tree stability security permanence growth endurance and flexibility here so let's take a look for my pisces the world card okay so you're looking to close a chapter in your life you're looking to towards a new start towards a new beginning um and creating something more i see that you've been waiting for this new chapter to begin in your life you've been wanting to make travel plans and wanting to grow but i see that you're you're hurt you are feeling pain and heartbreak over a situation from your person here so I see that there's something that has been bothering you, someone in your life um, that you've been having problems with, someone who has disappointed you, and you're trying to put an end to that. You're wanting to close off that cycle here and wanting to um, close the distance or close the separation because I see that you're really missing someone here, and I see that there is some sort of distance between you and um, a loved one three of wands in the world so I see that you're waiting for someone to arrive or you've been uh, looking forward towards seeing this person because you really miss them and you are going through a period right now where you are focused on endurance I see that you do uh, feel as though you want to get to a place where there is happiness and where you can grow together with this person grow old with this person and you want to create something more you want something deeper you want to close the gap here and um i see that there's something about an addiction codependent obsession possession controlling has a block restraint so let's take a look here this what is this about queen of wands that's aries leo and sagittarius energy so i'm seeing that there's a block here trying to get things off the ground um there has been an offer there is a new beginning a new start and a new uh commitment with that ace of discs here uh, but I see that it's having, there's some sort of block. There's some sort of block here that is is causing things to, it's causing like a delay. I'm seeing delays here. So especially with this girl, she is, she has something attached on her foot. It's kind of holding her back. So I see that things have been moving um a little slow to get getting things off the ground and moving towards a new start and towards a bigger chapter and leaving the past behind so I see that there is someone here who is struggling struggling making some changes um, with that judgment but I see that they're having an awakening I see an awakening here someone is realizing that there are certain things that need to change in order to get things off the ground so a, a change of behavior I'm seeing somebody has um, the tendency to be um, possessive or jealous or a hothead I see that this is some sort of behavior or controlling behavior as well um, that needs to that is causing a, a block here causing things to move a little bit slow but I'm seeing something within a year one year from now um, I see a huge 
change happening here but this is just the beginning is what i'm seeing so duality this is my yin and yang card i see that there's something it's like you and this person are like night and day there's something very different but you two are wanting to make it um wanting to make it work wanting to mix this together and in your outcome we have paradise happiness expansion joy oh wow all of my cards just fell on the ground one second okay so six of wands was the first card that flipped out for you guys so i see you guys working working on this and reaching a point of balance six of wands this is victory this is a successful outcome happiness expansion joy playfulness oneness and enjoying each other but it doesn't come without a struggle with that five of swords there's been discord conflict drama not really thinking about the other person but you guys are going to end up working this out here um working towards balance and getting to that place of of a, a successful outcome so there is a final decision here that's being made so things are being I see that everything has been taken into consideration and I see that you're gonna be really happy this is good news you're you two are going to end up working things out here so I'm gonna get some details for you guys I'm seeing an age difference. There's an age difference between you and your person. Okay. You or your person could be a dark male or somebody's dark for their cultural background or have dark features here. I see that this is a twin flame soulmate situation. You guys are very connected to each other. I do see that somebody believes that this is... Um, a twin flame or soulmate connection your person or you could possibly be somebody who's very into like makeup beauty fashion uh, somebody who I'm seeing somebody who is very well known popular but there's some destined I see that destiny is stepping in here in order to make some changes because there's been a block because it's been um, I see that Destiny has stepped in here in order to in order to actually for some reason I'm hearing they want things to slow down. They want things to slow down so that you can get to a place of balance here, but you could be having a family with this person in the future. So let's get a few more cards. Or somebody could be a father. I'm seeing with that emperor. get a few more cards for you guys before I close off this reading okay yes yeah, so the time has come to clear your energy guys release your ex the time has come to clear your energy um things from the past people from the past release your ex or even lessons that have been really hard to let go of that comes from an ex that needs to be let go of the world card this talks about lessons as well here so there's a major lesson that you have learned or a major lesson somebody an ex has taught you a major lesson in your life here but it's coming to completion it needs to come to a close so that it doesn't affect your current situation or future situations um i see that in your past we have religious factors your love life is influenced by religious upbringing and spiritual path your spiritual path with this twin flame so things are being aligned i see alignment um the divine is trying to align you 
with your twin flame or soulmate. They're trying to align you by slowing down. And your person, they want a reconciliation with you. Someone from your past is returning to your life here. So um, it doesn't even mean it has to be someone from your past. It's just someone, I see you having a reconciliation with um, your person here. You deserve love. You are lovable. So somebody has like um, self-confidence issues, which is a form of an addiction. It's some something that's holding this person back. It could be a, a, a woman, could be a Leo Aries or a Sagittarius. Uh, but I see that you two could end up even getting married to each other, retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world and you could be having a family here. So I do see that um, this is what I'm getting for you. So if you like this reading, please comment, like, and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be updated for future videos. Let me know if it resonated and I hope that you found some guidance or clarity in your situation. And thank you all for watching. Bye.